In this problem, a square loop water distribution network, ABCD, is supplied with a flow of 2,500 gallons per minute at point A. All circular pipe segments have the following properties given in the table. Outflows are noted at points B, C, and D. Ignore minor losses and assume the Hazen-Williams equation is valid for head loss. Compute the flow correction in gallons per minute using one iteration of the Hardy Cross method. So in this problem, we are given a square loop water distribution network, which we can see displayed over to the right. And we can see that they have the following properties for each pipe given in the table. So the properties we have are the distances between each point noted a to B, B to C, C to D, and A to D. We are given the flow rate in gallons per minute, the C value for the Hazen-Williams equation, the diameter of each pipe in inches, and the length of each pipe in feet. So the first thing we can do is search for the Hardy Cross method in our reference manual. The environmental reference manual will have this in chapter one. The Hardy Cross equation is given as delta Q equals negative times the sum of the head loss over 1.85 times the sum of the head loss over the flow. And that term is to the absolute value. Delta Q here is the flow correction. So what this shows us is that there are two terms that we're going to need to solve for in order to find the flow correction. The first is going to be the head loss, and the second will just be the head loss over the flow. The problem already tells us to ignore minor losses and assume that the Hazen-Williams equation is valid for head loss. So if we pull the Hazen-Williams equation out of our reference manual, we can see that it's the following. There is a form of Hazen-Williams given in chapter one of the environmental reference manual that is laid out in terms of head loss. Head loss is going to be given as X times L over C to the 1.852 times D to the 4.87. And that whole term is going to be multiplied by Q, also raised to the 1.852. In this case, in the reference manual, we can see that based on our units given in the problem, our X value is going to be 10.44. So let's add the head loss as a term in this table above to solve for, since we can see that all of the other values, C, D, Q, and L, are provided by this table. Now before we do any calculations, there's one more thing we need to do, and that's make sure that each of our flows is either positive or negative. So we're going to call this step 1.5 at the top and assume a convention of clockwise flow being positive and counterclockwise flow being negative. Let's look at the information given in the table and apply it to the figure in order to figure out which pipes have a positive flow and which pipes have a negative flow. So we can see that A to B is given a 1500 gallon per minute flow rate. If we know that we have 2,500 gallons per minute coming in at this point and 1,250 coming out here, then we can see that the direction is going to be clockwise or positive from the inflow across A and B. Now, if there's 1,500 coming into B from A and 1,250 coming out, 
we know that means there has to be another 250 going to C. And we can tell based on the pipe network table again that that is correct. So this direction will also be positive. Coming back to point A for a second, we can also see that the table gives the flow in pipe AD as 1000. So if we draw this as such and see a thousand going through pipe AD, we can see that we have a thousand coming to point D and 750 leaving. That means that another 250 has to be continuing back up to point C. Since this direction is counterclockwise, A to D is going to be negative, and D to C is also going to be negative. That 250 and that 250 finalizes our numbers to show that we have 2,500 gallons per minute going in and a total of 2,500 gallons per minute exiting as well. So going back over to our table, we can see that A to B is going to be positive, B to C is going to be positive, C to D is going to be negative, and A to D is going to be negative. So this will help us as we solve out the Hayes and Williams equation. So let's solve Hayes and Williams for our first branch in the pipe network. The term X is going to be given as 10.44 based on the units provided according to the reference manual. So for pipe AB, the equation for the Hayes and Williams head loss value will be 10.44 times the length of 50 feet over 120 raised to 1.852 times diameter of 12 inches raised to the 4.87 and all of this times the flow of positive 1500 GPM raised to the 1.852. And if we solve this out, we will see that our answer is just about 0 0.312 for the head loss in pipe AB. So I'll write that in up here. And our next term that we can add to this table will just be the head loss divided by Q. Since that's the other term that we need to figure out the Hardy cross flow correction value. So HF over Q equals 0 0.312 over 1500 gallons per minute. And that is going to come out to 0 0.000208. The next step would be to solve the Hayes and Williams equation for head loss and head loss over Q for terms BC, CD, and AD as well. To save time in the video, I'm going to write down the next term's answers here. If you'd like, you can pause it and calculate them yourself before I fill them in. Now that we have all of the head losses for each pipe in the network, we can sum them up and solve for the Hardy cross flow correction factor. So the sum of all the head losses is going to come out to negative 4.217 according to our convention. And the sum of the head losses over the flow is going to come out to 0. 0.0 zero zero 
five, nine. Solving for the flow correction vector, we can see that it's a negative value times negative 4.217 over 1.85 times the absolute value of 0 0.0059, which is going to come out to just about 386.3. Of which of our answers given here, the closest is 390. So this problem is super tedious to solve, but it's not super difficult to solve. I actually really hope that you don't ever come across one of these on the PE exam, just because of how long it may take to calculate Hayes and Williams four times in a row and fill out the table here. But if you do, you can see here that all you need is the equation for the Hardy cross method, the equation for the Hayes and Williams head loss, and an understanding of how to set positive and negative conventions in a given pipe network. From there, you'll assign your flows as positive and negative, calculate each head loss using the Hayes and Williams equation, then sum those values up and perform one iteration of the Hardy cross flow correction using the terms that you solved for. And that's it.